And we promised you guys uh, the Jank and Anna race, and you guys uh, delivered. So let's give it to you. Anna Kasparian has been talking a lot of smack lately. Smackety smack, 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 smackety smack. About how she's going to beat me in a race. I mean, here we are, right back at it, you know? It's like Jill uh, Pike Redu all over again, right? Right, Anna, go ahead. Step up to the mic for a second. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll do it more when you come on here, but just let's let's have start the ball rolling. Now, uh -huh. w w you're claiming what you could beat me in a sprint and you could beat me in uh, long distance. Is that the, are these the claims? Long distance for sure. Uh, okay, right. For, for sure. sure. For yes. sure. Yes. Okay. But also, I'm, the, I'm not even trying to be like a brat or conceited or anything like that. I just think that I could beat you in a distance race. And you're very confident. Yeah, I'm pretty confident. We're getting close to the start of Judgment Sunday 2 here on June 1st in Los Angeles. And you know, June in L.A. typically referred to as June gloom when a smog-induced haze hovers over this fair city like a dirty, disgusting, bacteria-filled blanket. But today, the sun is out. And the question, will it shine brightly on the hyper-competitive, overly aggressive Cenk Uger or his cagey, I've never heard of the Rolling Stones challenger Anna Kasparian. We'll find out when we come back for Judgment Sunday 2. I'm ready, baby. <laughs> you ran into I'm ready. Yes, I did. I pushed really hard, and afterwards I felt like crap. But I know that when it really comes down to it, while I'm competing, I will do whatever it takes to beat his ass, no matter how much pain I'm in. So much smack talk. Uh, okay. So Asher, do we have a second uh, video there? We do. Okay, before we get to there, Anna, you should never feel bad because those videos always make me look worse because you get to see my full body in the t shirt and shorts. So that's it. Like it takes away from the joy of, of winning the race, as, as almost all of you know, right? But but it, I brought the joy back when you were so overconfident. Oh, God, that gave me life. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> how, so if you don't mind me asking, how old were you um, during this race? So, oh, that's easy. So uh, that was 12 years ago. It showed it in the graphic, 2008, right? So that means I was uh, 38. <gasps> yeah. It, you in that video, you're like two months older than I'm going to be, or you're no, older I, by gonna, I, what I'll be in two months. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. you've, you've well, caught up to early J. So up. sorry. And uh, and I love that we called it Judgment Sunday. And I love that Mank was our play-by-play uh, hmm. -play announcer. <laughs> okay, so we're so out of time. So let me let's show you the second half of the video first. Uh, I did bring this. I brought a prop. Oh, nice. Okay, this is for this is for blowing my nose, mm. which I'm gonna have to do in a second. And if Anna loses, it's to wipe away your teeth. This is uh, oh, no! three twelve. Let's go. Get up and run. Yeah. I know she can do it. I don't. I, I. I think he's not gonna crack. I don't think he's gonna crack, but she is already giving up. Nah, I don't want her to. No, of course not. Nobody wants her to. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I can't do it. I stop. I can't. I can't. What's the matter? You okay? We have a. Uh, we have a development. We have a development. Yeah. And we have a uh, winner by a technical knockout. <laughs> Time. Official time is 7.32. 7.32. Seven minutes and 32 seconds. I'm so glad you didn't finish. I could, could you have run faster? I could have run faster, it would have killed me. Today was not a good day for me. Turns out this is her best shot. She really blew it. <laughs> I'm such a dick. What a dick. Oh, what a God. Dick. I feel bad about it now. <laughs> to wipe away her tears. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Wait, so Anna, God. was it yeah. just that you you blew yourself out like sprinting at the beginning, or was it like an injury? Like you hurt your calf or or what was it? I pulled a, I don't know if I pulled it, but I did something to my hamstring because my strategy was, my strategy was so stupid. It was, it was really dumb. And 
It's 2008, I don't really fully know Jenk yet. Cuz remember, I started working at TYT in 07. And I, I thought that I could intimidate him by starting off with a sprint and getting a lead that's like so significant that he, you know, eventually gives up because he realizes like, oh, she's actually pretty fast. Yeah. Um, that was a bad strategy. Uh, I did have a lead, but he caught up pretty quickly. And by sprinting so hard, um, I hurt myself. And so I, I had to give up. Like I I would have kept going because there's nothing more losing a race is one thing, but there's nothing more embarrassing than giving up. Um, but I was genuinely terrified that I was gonna cause like serious harm to my body if I kept going because it was really painful. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It happened. It's fine. Um, yeah, hey guys, don't worry. Uh, Two thousand dollars, and I'll show you a video where I lose. <laughs> no, the, I'm not kidding. By the, the way, tyt.com/go. But the thing about Jank is, I'm pretty convinced that if you, if the tables were turned and you had that injury, you would have kept going. Like that's the difference between us. Um, I don't know, and about I don't that. know if that's. Yeah. No, I, I mean, an injury is an injury. It's different than gutting it out, right? And so, if you're, if I was genuinely worried that I that I, I had already strained my hamstring and I might pull it and I might be out of action for three months, six months, etc. Uh, no, I might not have kept going. So, no, don't beat yourself up over it. Look, the the, the thing you should beat yourself up over was the original overconfidence, right? But you've way overcorrected for that already. I mean, that was a, a, literally a dozen years ago. And I think you're you've overcorrected. You're now too pessimistic about it. <laughs> but uh, but uh, no, like so you just you didn't know that uh, you know you judge the book by its cover. Let's be honest about that. I right? did, I did, hundred percent, hundred percent. And now yeah. looking back at it, I'm going to say something pretty controversial because um, we're pretty far apart in age, right? Um, but you were good looking and you were actually in pretty good shape. Like I was kind of. A terrible person <laughs> by like <laughs> judging a book by its cover. You weren't even that bad. Yeah, I know, but I mean that's happened my whole life, right? So, but thank you for saying that. That's very nice of you. But, uh, but like I've, I've said this a thousand times in the post games and stuff like that. And doctors are always surprised that I'm in shape um, uh, because of how I look, right? <laughs> And so uh, it is what it is, but I love surprising people. That's why I want to do the race with Jill Pike. That's why I want to do the race with you because I know I've got 38 years of experience of being athletic and running, etc. And so these Johnny Come Latelys, or in your case, Anna Come Latelys, uh, like, oh yeah, I got this, this guy, right? Uh, but but you would have finished the race normally, and and you would have lost. <laughs> yeah, I would. have, Yeah, but uh, but it, it, it's so don't. Don't sweat it, it's just all in good fun, obviously. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.